Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Rereads. I'm Rhiannon and today I've got a book haul for you. I got all these books from my local charity shops. And let's get started and I'll show you them. The first one I picked up I don't know anything about, but it's set in World War Two, I believe, and it's called Black Rose let's <laughs> it that way. It's called Black Roses by Jane Thine. I have no idea what it's about. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I do like world books set in um, World War and yes it sounds intriguing and I can't wait to start. The next book I picked up from the charity show shop, <laughs> from the charity shop is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I'm looking forward to getting into this book. Um, I My brother recommended me recommended this book so I'm looking forward to reading this. Next book I picked up was More Than This by Patrick Ness. I tried reading it from the library, I absolutely enjoyed it, but I had to take it back. I got this from a charity shop, it was buy one get one free, and I picked it up. And I cannot wait to get back into this because I really did love the... I really did enjoy the book and I can't wait to um, finish it. Next book I picked up is the next instalment of Call the Midwife by... Um, it's Shadows of the Work... <laughs> Shadows of the Workforce by Jennifer Worth. I absolutely enjoyed I have the first book and I can't wait to read it. I love the series. Call the Midwife series is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. And um yes, so I can't wait to um read and I'm trying to get into um more books that are not um that are based on real events and none you know, like um non-fiction but sorry yeah no i'm trying to get into more non-fiction and things like that then i bought before i go to sleep by sj watson i've seen this advertised as a film i'm going to read the book it sounds really really scary <laughs> sounds really it's a bit of a thriller it sounds really interesting i can't wait to read this um next one i bought was Cal cloud uh, cloud atlas by david mitchell i really want to read the read the book before i re see the film um this is a bit of a be battered up copy. I really like the cover, the film cover, so I might like check out my um, book library and I might do my top fave movie cover books because I've got quite a few movie cover type, movie cover books, uh, um, covers of the movie books and I think this one's really well done. And then I picked up Animal Farm by George Orwell. Um, it's quite, I've I'm amazed how small it is actually I quite forgot about it when I did it at school it's like only like 99 like 90 odd pages and I'm really surprised um it's only um you know one of those cheap mass paper market penguin editions but I do really like the cover I really like the cover it's one of the covers that probably won't send me into nightmares the book will send me into nightmares I watched this has got a fascinating story actually I watched the live action version of Animal Farm ages ago on Channel 4 and it was with like real animals and I had nightmares about it because it was <laughs> so weird and I was like watching it and I had a night I had nightmares for like a week watching the live action version of Animal Farm and then the cartoon version was horrible as well we watched that at school and the cartoon version of Animal Farm was as equally as bad as the live action version of Animal Farm. I absolutely, I really want to read the book, but I don't want to give myself nightmares just yet about pigs and animals ruling everything. And oh, you can't imagine it, can you? But yeah, I can't wait to get stuck into that. So that was my book haul, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.